Oh no, it's a dead end. Oh no, what do you want with me? Do not be afraid. I have only come to feed upon your life force. Soon you will be nothing but a memory. That's interesting. It seems like there have been a lot of disappearances downtown. I should probably call Ryan and see if this is something we might want to check into. Hmm. Well, well. What do we have here? <sighs> yeah, yeah. Just die already. Hey, what's up, Albert? It seems that there's been a lot of disappearances between 4th and 3rd Street, and to me it seems like something that might be supernatural. Yeah, I've been noticing a large surplus of vampires recently, too. I wonder if they're connected. So what do you want to do about it? I think we should go check it out. Let's meet up at 3rd and 4th Street, and if nothing's going down there, Melanie's diner is only a block away, and they have the best cheesecake in town. Alright, I'll see you there. Well, according to my locator, it looks like this is the center of all the disappearances. Well, it looks like a pretty normal alleyway to me, with the exception of that little patch of blood right there. Well, we might as well search it and see what we can find while we're still here. Yeah, there's probably some clue around here somewhere. As far as I can tell, it's pretty clean over here, just a bunch of construction stuff. Damn. It definitely smells fresh. Yuck! Did you just touch blood with your bare hand? Do you know how unsanitary that is? Look, kid, I appreciate you looking out for me, but I can do without all the nagging. Kid, watch out! Behind you! Huh? What the heck is he? Some kind of zombie vampire? Huh. Oh. Not quite, kid. They're called Thin Bloods. They're pretty much the zombies of the vampire world. So stay away from his fangs and I'll get him from behind. There's definitely got to be another vampire behind all of this. There is no way that vampire was strong enough to take out all those missing people. Well, by the looks of it, he was one of the missing people. Hmm, well maybe while we think about a way to bait out the real threat, we should go have dinner because I'm freaking starving. That sounds good to me. I'm pretty hungry myself. Yum. It sure smells good in here. I swear, the way that you're acting, it makes me feel like you haven't eaten in a year. Let's just say all this hunting helps me to realize all the finer things in life. Speaking of hunting, what's the plan that you came up with? Well, all the disappearances seem to center around that location in the alleyway. So I think it's all about going there and finding a way to bait him out. Okay. But how would we go about doing something like that exactly? Well, I'm just gonna put this bluntly. I think we should go down to his favorite street corner and dangle you outside right in front of him. You know, all alone. Why me? Isn't it obvious? It's because you look so weak and defenseless. Welcome to Melanie's Diner. Are you ready to order? No. My partner and I are actually detectives and we've been investigating a bunch of disappearances lately. I noticed that too. Seems a couple of regulars have stopped showing up all of a sudden. Have you seen anything suspicious? Maybe a mysterious pale individual lurking around? You know, now that I think about it, I believe Joe was talking to a man outside when he left last night. Long black hair, very pale. Though I don't know who he was or where they went. Thank you. That's actually very helpful. So, is there anything else I can do for you guys? Oh yeah, I'll take some French toast. Yeah, I'll take a muffin and a cup of coffee. I have a feeling this is going to be a long night. No problem. I'll have it for you guys in a jiffy. 
well, at least now we know what the suspect looks like. Yeah, but sadly we're still gonna need to use USB. Damn. Seriously? Alright, so here's the plan. I'm gonna hide over here. You just sit there and wait. I imagine he's bound to come by sometime. If not tonight, we can always do this again tomorrow night. And again, until we finally catch him. Wait a second, that doesn't sound like a very good plan. I mean, are you saying that he might not even show? I don't know, I'm not psychic. I mean, it's just like fishing. Do you know when the fish is gonna bite the hook? Well, that's just great. This plan is just getting better and better by the moment. Yeah, yeah, just stop your whining. And keep it down. I think I hear footsteps. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Help me, detective. Um, sure. Just hide behind this trash can and tell me exactly what's going on. <laughs> Do not be frightened. Soon you shall both belong to me. You won't lay a finger on her. I see you are a hunter. I shall purge your veins. What the hell? Feel my power. You are far too weak and pathetic to be a hunter. Oh crap, what was that? Your worst nightmare. You are nothing. Oh, I am definitely getting too old for this stuff. All right, if that's how you want to play it, then let's do this. Well, that was easy. Did he forget about me or something? What the hell was he anyways? Well, that's what's called in the vampire world a blood mage. Uh, is it safe to come out now? Yeah, he won't be hurting anyone else. You can come out. I can't believe vampires even exist. What is this world coming to? First Trump, now this? Oh yeah, trust me, I know. I just recently found out about this stuff myself. But it's better to know, because at least you can be prepared for it in the future. So what do I do if I run across another one of these? Here, let me give you my number. Then all you have to do is call and I'll get to you as fast as possible. <laughs> you sly dog, you.